so today I want to talk to you about Husqvarna mower decks. Husqvarna also makes uh, Craftsman, Poulon, and Poulon Pro. So you're going to find a lot of similarities between uh, those three companies. Uh, maybe even some more that I don't know about. Uh, but I want to tell you about this deck. This is a 54 inch deck from a zero turn radius uh, lawn mower. And um, the fellow that owns it said, fix whatever's broken. Give it a tune up and then fix whatever's broken. Well, the first thing I'm going to show you is that uh, you, when you go underneath and you see a lawnmower blade that looks like this, you know what? That's broken. That's got to go. So then you take that off and it's mounted to this underneath and you notice that this is all stripped out because see the star that's in the middle here is supposed to sit on there and that's all stripped out. In addition to that one, because there are three blades on this one, we have another one that a bearing is actually missing out of there. And then this piece was broken off, so that's no good. This one as well, the top of this thing is actually uh, mushroomed over. Uh, somebody took, um, instead of fixing this the way they should have, they just stacked up more washers to tighten it up until it wasn't shaking anymore but this is what happened here the bearing was just gone completely so another thing going on the pulleys that mount on the top here are supposed to have you see these these splines in here are supposed to grab a hold of the pulley here but that's obviously not doing it there when you take this apart to replace these parts, and they're not expensive. Um, if it has this spacer, and most of them do, don't lose this spacer because I found that these don't replacements don't always come with this spacer. I'm going to show you what a new one looks like. This is a new spindle, mandrel, whatever you want to call it, and you'll see that the uh, the star shape in the bottom is is fully protruding and the edges are nice and sharp. Uh, on the top, this particular one, that spacer is actually kind of built in. I can't take that off, so maybe they finally figured out how to make sure people weren't losing that part. And also, the, uh, the pulley has got those little bumps on there that lock in place here. So now, when you spin the pulley, the whole thing turns the way it's supposed to. So that is a new setup, and I'll show you how it gets mounted back onto this mower deck. Alright, so in order to mount this, there are four bolts right here, and these are actually kind of self-tapping bolts. And what's going to happen is they're going to go into the holes here, and these are not threaded, but these will self-tap. They'll, they'll make their own threads. The uh, Alright, so what we need to do then, from the underside of the deck, we want to take the, uh, the mandrel housing here, and slide it through like so and then we want to line up the holes here kind of get these started Once we get all of these bolts started, then we'll snug it up, but not too tight because remember that's just aluminum there. We don't want to strip that out. There we go. So we'll do that now to the other two, and then we'll go put the blade on. All right. So now this is. Uh, this is what it looks like now that the uh, the new mandrels are all put in place. And uh, so we take the new blades here, and it actually says grass side. So pay attention to that. Make sure that that side is down toward the grass and the star shape that's here. We want to line it up with the star shape, star shape on the new mandrel. Put in the uh, 
basically that's that's it there now what we're gonna do is we're going to tighten this up to the proper torque setting and I'll let you know what that is uh, you know when I sit down in front of my computer so we're gonna put the other three blades on and we'll flip this over and show you how to put the pulleys on the other side all right so now all the mandals are in place the uh, lawnmower blades are attached underneath and torqued to the proper spec which is like between 80 and 100 foot pounds and the last thing we have to do here is take the new pulley and make sure that spacer is in place like I said this these particular mandals came with it in place sometimes they uh, are removable but make sure that spacer is in place and we basically lower this on there make sure that the teeth drop down in place and then take your big nut and you tighten that down and you're ready to put the belt back on and put the thing back on the mower so that's what it takes to replace the uh, the mandrels on the a mower deck for Husqvarna and uh, hope you uh, hope you uh, have a good time fixing this stuff like I do alright thanks for watching